Okay, the next group of tests that we're going to be doing are for plica injuries. The first one that we're going to be doing is called the test for medial synovial plica test. It's also called the Houston's plica test. For this one, the patient is going to be supine uh, with the knee uh, flexed, um, or you can also have them um, in a seated position. The athletic trainer is going to stand uh, lateral to the knee while uh, palpating the uh, anterior uh, medial capsule. Um, and then what we're going to do is, uh, again, with, the, with one hand, the other hand is going to be down here uh, by the ankle. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, passively uh, flexing the knee to about 90 degrees while internally rotating the tibia. Uh, and then while we're doing that, we are moving the patella uh, uh, medially, you know, with our thumb or the palm of our hand. Okay, and then we can also, from 90 degrees, we can also go down to extension, again, internally rotating and extension while medially um, pushing the patella and palpating uh, the anterior medial. And what we're looking for is a re uh, reproduction of symptoms uh, or the, the patient or you may feel the plica as it uh, crosses the medial femoral conda, normally between uh, 45 and 60 degrees of flexion, and that would be a positive sign for a medial synovial plica injury. The last special test that we're going to be doing for a plica is called the stutter test. For this one, the, the patient is going to sit at the edge of the table uh, with the knee flexed about 90 degrees. Uh, this is effective only with no joint swelling. Uh, the athletic trainer is going to uh, stand or s sit uh, lateral to the knee, uh, cupping the, the uh, patella uh, with the hand or finger over the patella. Uh, do not compress the patella. Um, ask the patient to slowly extend the knee. Go ahead. So. And what we're looking for is any irregular motion or stutter or jump between 40 and 60 degrees of flexion. This would indicate a uh, medial synovial plica injury.